And in the other side of his cavity, he has a mumbo skull. Which, if you were wondering how to get that, well, there you go. Because I remember coming to this area first. And by the way, there are many entrances to Clanker. You can come into his teeth inside Clanker. You could also go on top of his head. You know his blowhole? Right, like a whale? He, uh, he... <laughs> you can actually go inside of there as well. And plus, you could also go inside of his gills. So there are many entrances, and if you came here wondering, well, what in the world, how do I get that mumble skull, well, there you go. You have to break open his teeth and destroy those cavities. In fact, those cavities are still there. I mean, that's kind of, he just has a random wooden plank stuck right in between. That, it's kind of painful. Ugh. I can only imagine if I had something like that in my tooth. Oh my goodness, thank goodness I haven't had any cavities. Yay! Okay, oh, what are these things? Oh, well, these things are... Beating me up. Let me just try to go around. No, stop it. Get, get, leave me alone. <laughs> I don't even know what these things are. That's what I'm saying. Is that, you know, he's mechanical, but at the same time, he has these living things inside of him. It's just so weird. You don't know what he is. He's half and half, I guess. Hybrid. <laughs> but, right here, there's we've now entered the midsection of Clanker. And before I start these, I just want to get some notes first. Make sure I don't miss these. Because I definitely want to try to get all 100... I think this will give us about 80-something. Uh, 81, okay. Well, that leads out to the other entrance of his gills. So that's one way you could go. There's another way, but I have to raise the water for it first. And the only way to do that is to complete this challenge without getting hit by those things. Oh, those tentacle things are so creepy. It's like his white blood cells. They're like, get out! You can't enter! Go, go away! Go away! It's like something for Birdemic when they're swatting away with the coat hangers. It's like, get away! I don't want you! But you're timed here... You've got to go quickly through these rings. 44 seconds you have. It's more than enough time. The only way you could race this time is if you don't know where you're going. Like, you get this ring, but usually they're right beside each other. Like, right here, you got to do a high jump, and there you go. And then the last two are right over there. you got one over here. Just watch out for that tentacle thing swatting away. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I consider those things like white blood cells, like the protectors. Just like, nope, you can't get this. Nope, get, get, get out of here. And there we go, the last one. So with this, this actually raises the water level inside of Clanker's body. So we are able to get that jiggy. And you can see that room up there, well, it's not going to raise high enough. But, we can do something about that. Let's just go and get the jiggy, though. Mm -hmm. But first, let's go get these notes before I forget. Now, I think the last Jinjo is actually over here, which I will get now. Let's see. Okay, that's, that's all the notes, really? Okay. But the last Jinjo is down here, again with another tentacle fly swatter, whatever you want to call it. And we get our sixth Jiggy. So now, we have four more to go. Now, without the inclusion of Jinjos, the Jinjos are pretty easy to find here. It's not too out of the way. The only way you can miss it is if you really just don't check anything, like... Being on top of that gate and not ground pounding, I mean, that would be kind of foolish. But in order to get to that room over there, well, first let me get the Jiggy, actually. And let me actually pick up some gold feathers on the way. Ah, forget it. I don't need no gold feathers. And, I'll be honest with you, you don't really use gold feathers all that much in this game. But they are important. It is necessary to get some jiggies. So that's the that's the only thing about them. So that's number seven. We got three more to find inside of Clanker's body. Or actually... Oh, you know what? I forgot to do something. I really... Ho oh, ho, my bad. I'll get to that in just a second. I forgot to actually go on top of him. I get the other Jiggy. I wasn't done with everything on the overworld, on the, um, on the above ground segments. I wasn't done everything, but that's okay. I would have to do everything in order. Here we get another gold feather, so you can kind of see where this is leading to. If we go in here, we see a bunch of fans. Well, oh my god, I'm so scared. What can we do? Well, bottles help us. This move uses Pico's wings as a shield against the bad guys. Who does it make me invulnerable? Sure does. Hold Z and press the right C button. Keep Z held and use the control stick to move around. Use it wisely though, as this move requires gold feathers, and you can only carry ten of them. Here, take these five valuable gold feathers with you. And that's it. This one is quite hidden well, actually. It's just... I mean, you might end up coming here, but at the same time, you might not and miss out on bottles entirely. This is the only way to unlock the move, and there you go, there is your 8th Jiggy, very simple. You cannot, I wonder if anyone could do this without getting, using the gold feather. That would be interesting, actually. Like, time the fan so perfect, I think it's impossible, but there's probably someone out there that can do that. Because I've seen crazy things, man. 
And I, that wouldn't surprise me if someone has done that. Just do it without the gold feathers. There's another one that's similar to this that you don't have to use the gold feathers. It actually is possible to time, and we'll get to that in a second. There's one more other thing we can do with Clanker's body, and there's also one thing we can do on the overworld, so I gotta do both right now. We'll just use this exit out of the side of his gills. That sounds so pleasant. We're <laughs> exiting his gills. Oh my god. <laughs> so, I mean, look at that. I did also didn't realize that was an entrance for a while. That's just, ugh. So many things about Clanker, so mysterious. But here with the blowhole, you can do one of two things. You can take the screw that's lodged into it, and he blows it up from time to time, like so. And he shoots you up here, which he gives you a couple of notes, and also a jiggy. So definitely, you have to come up here. But the other thing you can do is while he shoots the bolt up, then you can go inside his body before it actually drops down. So you would think this is just optional, it just gives you some other place... It just pretty much puts you in the midsection, but no, this is actually required. You do need to come here. In fact, this is what gives you the grunty switch. There it is. <laughs> it raises her eyeballs, so now we can hit them. Let me try to do this without the gold feather. If I start taking too much damage, then I'll quit. I think you can do this without getting the gold feather, but I like to do this anyways, because I usually take hits there. Ow. Okay, let's go. Good. Yeah, ow. No, let me through. Okay, fine. I'll cheat my way out. I know you can do that without doing the gold feathers, because I've done it before, it's just I got impatient. And there's the dance! Woo! Okay, so that's our 10th Jiggy, our 100th note. We are done with this area. Not too shabby at all, actually. I'm progressing through this game quite nicely. But that's going to come to a screeching halt <laughs> soon enough. I don't think the next world's going to be too much of a problem, but I think the next one after that might start getting a little bit difficult, because that's where things start getting really big and really difficult to find all the notes and everything, it's more scattered. Like this one, it's still in a group, like you'll find them, but the later worlds, man, you just start finding them individually, and then you start having to look all over the place in order to find them. So it gets more and more harder as it goes along, but we are done with this place, yay! It didn't go off too badly, actually. In fact, I think I finished this a little faster than Treasure Trove Cove. I think so. Because this one wasn't too bad. This is, again, another level that doesn't feature Mumbo. But don't worry, we'll be getting into him quite soon. Just make sure to grab your Mumbo tokens wherever you can find them. And you'll have enough, trust me. I mean, he, he asked for five the last time. And at most, he's going to double it or triple it. And we already have that amount. So we're good. Okay, <laughs> I'll stop bad singing for now. I don't think you can actually know. You probably can't hit those. I won't try. But we are finished, and the next world is up. While well, you're wondering already what to do, and I, I already showed you actually what the next world is. And it, wait a second, that isn't opened. Oh, what? You didn't save? Oh, raspberries. Ow, that hurt. It's good thing you didn't kill me. <laughs> that was very close to killing me. My goodness. But oops, I guess it didn't save for some reason. Maybe it doesn't save as it goes. Out. Oh, Grotties, a bitch. She's a hog. I really need a big hot dog. Are, are you serious, Grunty? Are, are you serious? A big hot dog, really? Is that that's that's your solution? How about just laying off the filthy habits, like Brentilda keeps telling us? Jeez, that's what you need more than anything. And now we finally open this up, and we get access to the next world instead of doing this world first and the other one. Oh my God, so many confusing times. Darn Bonjo! <laughs> I always get confused within a Bonjo game at some point. But this time I'll make sure that doesn't happen, or try my best to make sure that doesn't happen. But as I said before, this is definitely the next world. You have to come here, and it is Bubble Gloop Swamp. You use about, what was that, like seven jiggies? I think it was about seven. I, I didn't actually see how much we had, but that's okay. I think it was about seven or six. And there's access to the new world. Very nice. If you thought this world had catchy music and suited the area, well, wait till the next world. That's even better. Like, I was surprised. Again, this game is just so wonderful. It can add good music to any place you want. And it still captures the feeling of it. Like, you find a lot of games nowadays, they try to just go with the background feel and try to get, you know, not put catchy tunes, you know what I'm saying? And that's generally in the nature of the game. It's more dark, it's more scenic. Right? And you're trying to capture the the scene of it. Like the, uh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> I'm confusing myself. But you're trying to capture 
the nature of the game and also try to capture where you are, the setting. So it's a, more, a lot more background music, you know, you feel like you're there, and it's not really catchy like these, like these songs, but you still have games that do that, like Mario, for instance. But before we go there, we want to go and hit these, her eyeballs and pound them inside so we can get that jiggy. Because obviously, Grunty likes to have her eyeballs pounded in. <laughs> that's actually weird. She, she has, she's much like those crabs. She has one eye that's bigger than the other. Man, she really has to lay off those filthy habits. It's what's gotten her to this. She barely has any teeth. One eye is bigger than the other. It's all because of those sweaty socks and <laughs> flea circus under her stomach. Like that's just ugh. <laughs> no wonder she looks like that. She must be. She must be more like Brentilda. Get over here. Wait, no. Oh God, don't scare me. Okay, good. That piranha acts in the same way as a shark, but you can actually see it this time instead of it surprising you. And when you jump in the water, there's no scary music, so definitely a plus. But if you go back here, you can talk to Bertilda. Let's find out some more disgusting secrets. My lazy sister often sleeps in a dumpster. The dirty hag <laughs> reminds me of Otto. What else do you have to say? The only thing she's ever won was the sweatiest socks competition at witch school. I think I can beat her at that. My socks are pretty damn sweaty. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> she often boasts of appearing on the cover of Fat Hag Monthly, sitting on her broomstick. Oh, you poor dears, your energy is low. Oh, right, right, I forgot she does this. That's good, actually. I was kind of low on health. It's funny, that reminds me exactly of Otto, like, when he was like, No, man, this is just a... What was it? He was just like... It's just a trash code disposal unit. Yeah, that's it. And then Bart's like, hey, how about you live in the garage? And he's, oh, a garage? Well, somebody up there likes me. Oh, and then he gets hit by the garbage can. <laughs> Good old Otto just sounds exa almost exactly like Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> I love that voice, too. It's just so perfect for him. I can't imagine any other voice for a type of character that he is. But if we go over here, we can see that Bertilda is hiding in this place as well. Man, she could just teleport anywhere. My fat old sister's favorite sport is belly barging. Ooh, oh god. Again. Although she's dim, she attended Cauldron College. Well, actually, that's pretty impressive. Probably as good as Harvard. <laughs> you won't believe that until this party trick is performing a scary strip to... Oh, why did you tell me that? I'm gonna have nightmares now. Oh god, Brentilda. Why? Imagine that, because she has a flea circus under her. Come on! That would be nasty. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, and then you get these boots that talk to you. Oh, my God. Everything lives. Okay, okay, boots. I understand. Jeez. There is one thing I will point out before you go into this area. Before you go, you'll see that there's a little passageway beyond here. And what you need to use is the boots. But before you do that, you can actually use the golden feathers. So try to rack up enough. I don't think I have a lot right now. But I'll still try to manage my way through. Yeah, see, I only have five. It's best if you have, like, eight coming in here. So that's the best thing. But, ow. Okay, I didn't mean for that to happen. Yeah, I understand, piranhas. Jeez. But that's the thing here. You have to use the boots, but you can also do this. And if you come here first... What you can do, you can see the next area you have to unlock. It's a nice icy area with snowy physics. Oh my goodness, I actually just mixed up my words. It's a nice snowy area with icy physics. <laughs> but you want to destroy this thing before you head into the world. Because, as you can see, if we try to go in, it's too small. Now, what does that mean? Well, maybe there's Mumbo and we can transform and get here. Because if you don't destroy this, then it will still remain... And when you come out here, it's a waste of time. So destroy this before you enter the into the world, and it'll save you a lot of time. And that's it for this. We're going to continue on with Bubble Gloof Swamp and find out the mysteries and see what Bumbo transforms us into. So until next time, this is Mario Central signing off.